Hello loves, I hope all is well. Today or tonight I am coming to you guys with a quick tutorial on a pretty simple but brightening look. This look is pretty much for if you're on the go and you want to look awake and brighten you know like I don't know not dead like me so this is perfect of course for students moms on the go yada 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 when we're tired and we're running around and doing errands or going to school doing homework going to work and doing all those things we get tired and we forget to take care of ourselves so first things first I always recommend drinking a lot of water and uh, excuse me because I am thirsty Staying hydrated is key to having beautiful skin and just to be a little bit more awake. I don't know. It just, it helps. H2O is the way to go. I don't even know how that rhymes. So anyway, I'm going to start off with cleansing my face. I wash my face in the mornings and after I take off my makeup. But I love using the Equate Beauty Clarifying Toner. And I've used this quite a bit. I haven't even hit much of it. So this is actually the dupe, the Walmart dupe or the Walmart brand for the Clinique Clarifying Lotion 2 and I only got this for like 10 bucks so I'm not even complaining so I just take my toner and just kind of cleanse my skin and this pretty much preps my skin so after doing that if you are more prone to oily skin definitely use a primer um, one I recommend that's drugstore is the Stay Matte Primer from Rimmel. This stuff works great. I've used this on clients. I have one of my uh, kits. And I use this even on myself even though I have dry skin. On hot days, this makes a difference. I really like this. Because I want something a little bit more dewy and I want to look refreshed, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Youth Cold Texture Perfector. And I'm going to be using this as a lotion and I guess as a primer. Apply a little bit on the forehead on my t-zone, my chin, my moustache area, and uh, my cheeks. Once I feel that that's settled into my skin, I move on to my foundation. Um, but because I have like really sallow eyes, I have been correcting first, then applying my foundation, and then concealer. I'm going to actually be using my Pixi Brightening Peach Corrector. I finally got my hands on this, and I will be doing a full review slash tutorial on this product. But for now, I will show you guys how this works. I'm just going to be placing it right on the tear duct area and right where the sallowness starts and bring it up under the lash line. Once I apply it where I need to get it, I use my finger to blend it in just to warm up the product. And I feel like this helps brighten up my eyes and make me look not so dead. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. To me, I feel like it just brightens just a little bit more. You can always add some more. I'm going to be using my Dream Touch Wonder Foundation. And this one is in 40 Nude. I thought this would be a little too dark for me, but it is perfect for the summertime. And I'm going to be using my uh, Flat Top Kabuki Brush. And I just start off with the center of the face. I just started reading a book recently that I haven't read in many years and it's a child called it I don't know if you guys are familiar with that book if you've ever read it and I, I really had to take a moment from it today and film because I couldn't sleep so what good books are you guys reading hopefully they're none that are traumatizing I'm gonna go ahead and use my L'Oreal visible lift blur concealer I actually really like this and just use this to do under my eyes because hunty we need to look awake okay bring that onto my lids just to neutralize the lid a little bit so that I don't need to use a base pretty much just use whatever's left on the center of the face I'm going to take my Cody airspun uh, powder and my banana powder now I press these and I absolutely love using them this way the Sigma f25 brush love this brush and just using that under the eyes I'm also mattifying my lids with the Cody Airspun just so that my eyeshadows would blend a little bit easier once I start placing them. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil and this one is in the color Ebony. I think everything I have is in Ebony with them. Yep. So I'm just going to brush my brows. This pencil is just as good so I'm going to start making a line right here and just filling in my brows and I kind of have to make an arch on this one because I don't have one on this side of my eye. I mean, I'm just having like a hot flash. It's these lights. I'm going to be using the Milani Bella eyeshadows for this look and it's really easy. This one's Bella Cappuccino and I'm just going to take my uh, Sigma E35 brush. Yeah, this is going to be my crease color 
I'm all delayed about life, people. I want to warm it up just a little bit, so I'm going to be taking a Bella Mandarin, and it is this orange color, and I'm just going to lightly tap my brush in it, or maybe not so lightly, and just kind of work this right here on the crease. I'm going to take a Bella Champagne color. I'm going to take some of MAC Charge Water, and this is just an e.l.f. concealer brush, and I'm just going to spray the brush to wet it, that champagne color, and place it on the lids. Right on the center. I'm going to use my finger and just placing that on the lid. I pretty much just placed that as a, a base for the eyeshadow because as you can see it was a little bit lighter. Then I just use my finger. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to take Bella Ivory and I'm going to use that as a brow highlight and for the inner corner. And I'm just going to take that same fluffy E35 brush and take some of Cappuccino and just kind of work it under the lash line. So I'm going to tight line using the Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeliner in black. And just, I know this is not, you can skip this part if you like, but I really didn't want to wear like eyeliner. I'm going to be taking the Rimmel Scandal Eyes in Nude and this is a great pencil. I think this is like my second one. And I'm going to put this on my waterline. I'm like whistling in that thing. So I'm just going to curl my lashes and use my favorite mascara. Take my Jordana Best Lash Extreme. I can't live without this mascara. No matter how many high-end mascaras I have tried, I still go back to this one. If you like the look of falsies and you like thick mascaras, this is it, boo. On the bottom lashes, I don't re-dip the brush. Not just yet. So I'm going to bronze and I'm going to be using my NARS Eda brush and my Physicians Formula uh, Bronze Booster. And this is just to warm up the face, not to do some deep contouring, but this brush helps get this in the central part of the face where you need it. Okay, so for blusher, I'm going to be using my MAC Love Cloud. I haven't used this in a while, but I really love it. It's just a basic pink. And just use a slanted brush or whatever brush you're liking. And I bring my blush back. I don't know. It's what's working for me right now. I'm going to add a little bit to the bridge of my nose if you guys have seen me do that. It's just, it adds that warmth. Like as if the sun went and kissed me. And for highlight, I'm going to be using my Cindy Luminizer. This is gorgeous and it is like just pink and beautiful. So a little goes a long way. That's a lot. And I'm just going to take that on the tops of my cheek and it is pink I just it's beautiful though and that's it that's where I'm bringing it for the lips I'm just gonna keep them nude and I'm gonna be using my Jordana easy liner it's like one of my favorite lip liners if you've never tried these they're like under two dollars go out and get them they're usually sold at Walgreens this one's in the color baby berry and these are so creamy and it just, I don't know, it just helps my lipsticks, just, they, it helps them be better, I don't know. For lipstick, I'm going to reach for my all-time favorite nude and it is the Wet n Wild 902C Bare It All. And I'm just going to place it on my lips because that's what we do with lipstick. So this is the completed look. You can use this with the same products that I use, with high-end products, with minimal products like BB cream, mascara, one eyeshadow, and one lip gloss, and a blush, and you're good to go. But this is the look that I normally go for when I'm just like wanting to look a little bit more put together and not so tired and giving up on life, if you get my drift. But anyway, again, I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.